get by It resides between my eyes Walked through the fire Came out better on the other side See lights like a peach If you find the sand And right now I'm feeling like a hundred grand You are listening to Inspired Insider With your host, Dr. Jeremy Wise Dr. Jeremy Weiss here, founder of InspiredInsider.com, where I talk with inspirational entrepreneurs and leaders like the founders of P90X, Einstein Bagels, Atari, and many more, and how they overcome big challenges in life and business. Our sponsor today is Rise25.com, which helps service professionals, doctors, lawyers, accountants, freelancers, coaches, dentists, anyone working one-on-one with clients, shift from just trading time for dollars to from one-on-one client work to one-to-many work. So go to rise25.com, learn more, download the free dream product ladder, which is basically a business plan on one sheet of paper that helps you see gaps in untapped revenue. Companies like Disney, Apple, Sporting Industry, they all use versions of the product ladder. Go to rise25.com. I am excited. Today we have Albert Swantner, founder of Sway Water and Bohemian Innovation. Bohemian Innovation has worked with companies such as Adidas, Microsoft, Fox, and many more. And they have a brilliant four-step process, which we will talk about, that helps companies create cutting-edge products or technologies. And you know they talk about problem definition, prototyping, building, and then, of course, Albert, changing the world comes last, right? <laughs> Sway water is a handcrafted, real fruit-infused water made from purified water and real ingredients. So that means no syrups, no concentrates or additives. Sway can be found in over 150 locations around Texas, including Snap Kitchen, Central Market, Royal Blue Grocery, and now Albertsons. Congrats on that. And I checked out some of their delicious flavors, you know, mango, grapefruit, peach, and many others. They all look very good, Albert. So thanks for joining me. Thank you. Excited to be here. You've had some major accomplishments in uh, the Big Brother program. Mm -hmm. So how did you get involved with that, and and what do you do? Sure. So... um, Part of me is, uh, I, I love giving back. Um, my father's a Lutheran minister, so it's kind of like in my body to just, you know, make sure it's, it's not all about infused in your DNA. I, I, can't, yeah. I can't get away from it, right? Um, and so I, I worked in the food pantry for five years here, running the food pantry. Hmm. Um, and so Big Brothers Big Sisters was just an organization that I really believe in the mission. Um, my wife teaches before we had kids, she taught in like the East side of Austin, which is a little bit, you know, it's like an up and coming rougher area. Mm. Um, it's like seeing how her students struggled through everyday life was just, you know, something that I could help with. And so I joined Big Brothers Big Sisters and I was a big mentor for three or four years. And now I'm on kind of the junior board. Um, I was big brother of the year last year. Um, and so just, it's been a cool opportunity to, cause you let ad- someone play with the Derek Rose game. That's why you get me brother. <laughs> Uh, no, it is, it's cool, like, being able to be an advocate for an organization, helping recruit other tech people to see that there's more than just this startup you're trying to build. Just, like, yeah. you know, instill that, instill those values in other people so that they can come up as well. Yeah. Um, what kind yeah. of stuff do you do with Big Brother? Um, how does it work for people who don't know? Yeah, so as a mentor, what you do is you're paired up with a student who's typically from 7 up through 17. Mm. Um, and all you're really required to do is spend about an hour every two weeks with them, hour, mm. two hours. And so some of the activities we did, we went, you know, um, indoor skydiving, we'd go play some basketball, we'd go just eat dinner, go to see a movie, really anything. Cause you're, you're kind of that person who is there for them. That's not in their family that can kind of hear what they're struggling with, can give them, you know, advice that mm. is maybe outside of what their mom is going to tell them to do. You know, because mm. as a teenager, you have problems you don't want to ask your mom about, right? And if you don't like have Like anything. Yeah, it, it <laughs> really, anything besides, you know, helping with this home. <laughs> um, but it's, it's, it's good that they have a positive influence. You know, a lot of times the people they look for to advice are maybe not the best people to give them advice on Is what they should Is it someone who doesn't have a male figure in their life? Or what's the, how do they choose if someone's going to be in the Big Brother program? Uh, a lot of times, a lot of times it is something like that. So maybe the father is incarcerated, or is passed on, or something like that. And then mm. there's a lot of gang influence, and so just helping say, hey, you know, there's another path. Let me show you what it's like. So mm. 
you know, a lot. We work with UT a lot, and where we'll go and we'll have the kids go see what a college group looks like, what a mm. classroom looks like. You know, different career paths because a lot of times you don't know what they're going to do for their career. You know, they don't know what options are they're available. They're probably not maybe thinking about their career that much. They're, yeah, they're just they're trying to really survive, right? And so say, hey, after you survive, you, you've got to do something, right? And so yeah. just saying, hey, you can be an auto mechanic. That's a great career. Here's here's how that works. And so just kind of helping them get to that next phase of their life where they're not a kid anymore. Just helping yeah. them get yeah. So the, from the food pantry side of things, what kind of things did you see that – touched you in the food pantry because it seemed like you were there for a number of years. You probably get to know the people coming in a bit. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> it just gets you like when you see the same people week after week, you know, and the ones that are, that are really struggling for a long time, like through illnesses or just kind of bad luck, but they can't just quite turn that corner. Mm. You know, they have lots of, they have kids maybe that all come in the pantry and they're just, you know, how they're so appreciative of just having a bag of food to eat. You know, like yeah. most of us take for granted that we can go to the grocery store and buy some organic kale, right? Yeah, but yeah. a whole other group First of world that, problems. Yeah, or starving for like a bag of beans that, you know, right. they can't afford to buy. And so just being able to, to just reassess my life and say, hey, I've got problems with this guy, he's got problems, and I'm ha- glad that I can help him through his day. Right. You know, it's kind of reframing how we It's face- heartbreaking, I mean, to see that. You know, I think encouraging. Like, you know, people try to get better, and if you can give them a little hand up, and then to see people say, the greatest thing was seeing them kind of graduate from the pantry and come back and volunteer to help other people. Really, like that's great. It's like you you've yeah. now made it, have your own apartment, and now you're like, I want to help that next guy get to be where I am, and so that makes you feel like you're you're making a little difference to someone. You know? How did that happen for them? That they um, tr- they actually, and that's a huge. Change. Finding a job, really like finding a company yeah. that's willing to hire someone that may have a felony or may you know have a hard time getting to work or needs to take the bus or may not be dressed the nicest, but you know that that can do work. And so once you find a job, it kind of enables you to get an apartment and start living a life. You know, yeah, that's awesome, Albert. Thanks for sharing that. Um, and you also do work with uh, Latinitas, and that's a nonprofit yeah. magazine. What is that about? How yeah, do you get involved? They, they do education for Latina girls, um, a lot of STEM stuff and computer training. And so for me, I was there, the tech member of the board. So How did helped. you get involved with them? Did you know someone? I knew someone else on the board, and yeah. they were looking for someone to help them do their technology lessons. So like a lot of Scratch programming, the Scratch programming language MIT did, um, and just getting Latina girls to see other career paths as well, like mm. say, hey, you can be a scientist, you can be a computer programmer, and here is like a little taste of what that looks like. And so that was a really, it was like similar to other stuff, but just excited to see Latina girls say, I can be a, I can be a programmer, this isn't that hard, and see them make little games and kind of bring their point of view to, you know, the game culture that's primarily white men. It's kind yeah. of exciting. Yeah. Albert, thank you. This has been super interesting. I really appreciate your time. Everyone should check out swaywater.com and bohemian.cc um and last question albert um i always ask since it's inspired insider what's been the lowest point um in business and then what has been the proudest moment highest point for you that's a good question um for me some of the lowest points were kind of early on you know, and one of my mentors told me something really great when I was starting out. They said, you know, when you're starting to get tired is when you're close, mm. you know, when you have a bunch of energy and you're feeling great, it's really easy to keep going. It's when you start to really get burned out and kind of feel like, you know, do I want to do this? That means that means that you're close, you know. So for years of doing Bohemian, I was living on friends' couches and doing nothing, right? And then you just say, like, what am I doing here? Why am I doing this? Uh, you know, and then just kind of persisting through that and then kind of hitting that point where, you know, you get one good client, you get another good client, and then saying, okay, like, I think we've, we've crossed that corner to where I'm ready to just say, forget all this. Um, so, yeah, definitely some low moments early where, you know, I'm broke, borrowing money from my aunt, just saying, please give me money for payroll so I can keep going. Yeah, um, yeah those are some those are some rough times. Did you, um, how did you get that entrepreneurial bug? Have you always had it from growing up? 
I guess so. I don't know. Maybe just a little bit of arrogance. I worked. I worked after I graduated. Um, I have a master's in uh, mechanical engineering, and so that was my path. I was going to be an engineer. Right. I worked at a product development company doing electric scooters, and after a year, I was like, man, you know, it's really hard working for this guy that I think that I'm smarter than, you know. And so for me, it was like, well, put up or shut up. Either you know, you do this and you prove that you can do it, or you right. just you know, just keep working. Um, so I guess I've always had it. I <laughs> didn't, didn't realize it until I started working and realized I didn't like it. So proudest moment, entrepreneurial. Yeah, proudest for me, I mean, there's been a couple, but recently for Sway Water, you know, creating something from nothing is really hard. And so when we, my wife and I walked into Central Market by our house, like a grocery store that we have been shopping at for years, and then seeing someone drinking the product, just like mm. a random person. Like we call it seeing a sway in the wild. Every time we see a sway in the wild, we all text each other. Yeah. And so like for me, the first time I saw that was, it was cool because you're like, man, I created this by my own hands and have watched it grow from nothing. And now this random person I don't know is enjoying this product that I've worked so hard to make. So that, yeah. That's a really cool, a really cool thing. I mean, I know it's not like I didn't sell the company for $100 million yet, but just that little, that yeah. little way we were saying, okay, like I think we're on the right path. Was That's time. awesome. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'll have to uh, have you see some in the wild in Chicago. <laughs> Almost. Uh, we're so close. People can buy it online from swaywater.com, right? Yep, you can yeah. buy it online. Very cool. So everyone check it out, swaywater.com, bohemian.cc. Albert, I want to be the first one to thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. I had fun. Yeah. What I got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walked through the fire, came out better on the other side. See, life's like a beach if you find the sand. And right now, I'm feeling like a hundred grand.